good afternoon from Marie at Messy M Creations. I hope this final Wednesday finds you safe and well. Hi Jeanette, hope you're well. Um, so today I am doing one sheet wonder. It's been a little while since I've done one. So I'm using Very Versailles, the writing and the leaves. And from Tasteful Touches, this flower, this leaf sprig and I've also got this square out and I've got the sentiment just saying hello um, I'm not sure I'm going to use the feather or not but we may or may not let's see how we go shall we so I am using all our gorgeous new in colours in evening evergreen soft succulent polished pink fresh freesia and pale papaya um, I've got all my other inks in front of me so if I feel it needs anything else I might add but this is a good start I think so let's get started so I've got my favourite shimmery white paper which when you compare it to white is actually slightly creamier but it's got a lovely shimmer To it so I'm just going to start inking up my expanse of white don't pop a few of those around so that's my evening evergreen then I think my leaves are going to drop in in soft succulent. I'm loving all these new in colours. Hello, hello, Linda. of creating a little bit of pattern by putting those leaves in the same sort of position but we'll see what occurs as we go along might just add some coming in there maybe oh don't want to little odd might put them coming up on this one let's see how it fills in that's the joy of a one sheet wonder so I think I'll do this flower next now I'm going to do these in several different colours so I'm going to start with our pale papaya as you can see I've already cut one because I have a plotting and not very exciting seeing me uh, fussy cut flowers out, is it? So yes, I've had an idea to sort of create some stripes across the card with part of the one sheet wonder, so we'll see. We'll see where we end up. It's a mystery when we start out, so let's add some let's do some fresh freesia. Stamp that 
pale papaya off and my idea is to sort of keep them fairly close in Having all these new in colours. polished pink the other sprig that will hopefully make it look like they're flower buds perhaps polished pink is a fairly strong pink so not as bright as magenta madness but not as dark as Melon Mambo. I'm just going to clean off that ink from the stalk area. and just ink up minus those the ends of those stalks you can see I've left that off the edge because then what we can do is sort of snuggle them in she says having just no I didn't work to say that and then Almost so that they're coming out of those other two. So you can see it all. And what have we got? Right in there, I've got this little square which might add some more pale papaya. I'm loving that pale papaya. Hi, Julie. Oh, it's been a long time since I've seen you. the days we had in-person classes I'm really hoping that our coming out of lockdown goes to plan And classes can start again. Read 
just some don't want to add the flower so I might use that square again and add some more fresh actually nothing stops us using that ones doing some more fresh freesia Actually, those square blocks in the evening evergreen might be quite nice. To add up, I've inked the stalk up again. So I'm just wiping it on a corner. Little test stamp off the page. And I'm going to make it come out of. Yeah, I think a bit more evening evergreen might be the ticket. Let's do a full one of those coming down there. Let's add some more depth in evening evergreen. I know it's only uh, April and I shouldn't mention the uh, C word, but this is going to be perfect for that time of year. Fantastic. Green for... Christmas. Not whispering makes it any better. Ended up with this funny bit in the middle that's got a bit of a gap. Try and position it better. And this most definitely looks completely different as we know when it's cut up. So I might just leave that bit. Nothing's going to... It's so knowing when to stop is the biggest thing with a one sheet wonder. I've kind of got in my head what I want to create. So hopefully it's not gotten too... busy, but I think these little squares... Oh no, actually... What I might do, I have got a splodge 
in painted poppies. She says throwing the dyes everywhere. I've got a little splodge. So I might use that little splodge with some of the pink. I think that's what's throwing me off slightly. So I'm going to do some splodge in polished pink just so that those bits don't stick out too much. So I'm going to do some first, second, how does the third look? Third generation little splodges. So that'll either balance it or ruin it, but hopefully we'll go with the balancing it. I'll say the fantastic thing is is even if you're looking at this and going oh my god what is she doing which I've had a few of those moments when you see the cards hopefully you'll go wow And if you don't, that's fine. But grab your favourite stamps and I'm still not entering that area. I'm not really sure what's going to happen there. So hey, let's go on a little adventure. So card based, soft based, card base in soft sea foam. I'm just going to make sure this is 10.5 in its width, which it isn't. Oops, sorry if you can hear my husband sneezes. So the thinking is... What's going to happen... Is we are going to overlay them, pop those in between, and then oh, she says can't straighten it. And then we are going to put some strips of the one sheet wonder on top. Then we're going to have a flower. So my strips need to be 9.5 by 3.8 so I've got to think how I'm going to cut it on the length ways 9.5 because that will still give me a chunk to make other cards out of so 3.8 is our and hopefully if you're doing it this way we could get loads of cards out of our single sheet so it's sort of like making your own designer series paper Oh no, that was my evening evergreen. They were supposed to be 3.3. .3. It's always good if you know how to read your own measurements. So cutting a little half centimetre off now. It's not the easiest thing in the world. Oh, they could be bits for in the middle. Oh. Be shorter as well, it's supposed to be nine. Oh, 
If you write your instructions down, make sure you read them correctly. After Linda's brilliant uh, mystery stamping, I think I've just proven my credentials. Not being able to read instructions, can't read my own. But all is not wasted because those little bits can go in the middle of the next one. So that's the that's the plan. Then the sentiment can go across like that. Half wondering whether I've got enough space to put two stripes should we cut a little half centimeter in well as the flowers pale papaya i might do it in oh i've got a pile of things falling over Let's cut one and see. It's a bit like yesterday. Start with one idea, try something completely different. Let's see if it'll work. That's what I'm thinking. If you really want to showcase the in colours, that's kind of working. So brilliant, brilliant card. For those people you might want to go look at these gorgeous colours I get to craft with. that with my snips so right the key thing is going to be and this is definitely going to require wet glue I think wriggle room is going to be key so wet glue is the way forward when we need a bit of wriggle room so I'm going to I'll put that one the other way up actually. So centre my one sheet wonder on the ooh, evening evergreen. So until you've pressed it down really hard, you've got a bit of wriggle room. A 
there's a bit of a bend in that piece of card but I'm not too worried because that's where the sentiment's going to go over it so then I think I'm going to position those outer ones and then do those coloured stripes last So position that fairly evenly. It's going to pretty much be kind of a visual by the eye. And I think the oops, a daisy lost me. A little bit of polished pink, but you can see how your one sheet wonder is going to go a lot further by using the strips. And you could, I think, do you know what? I might do, I should do it that way. Um, you know, if you had someone whose favourite colour was purple, you could create it just in shades of purple. This needs to... Oh, I'm stuck that bit down, that's why it's not quite... Right, so we might just need to be a little bit careful with these these ones to make sure we've got enough room for that centre panel. And hopefully you can see that one sheet wonder looks completely different. Now we've got Chopping it up. So it's just that centre one. I want to make sure I've got a space to centre it. But trust me, people don't generally go receive a lovely handmade card and then go, "Oh, we're doing better if that was all like totally balanced." They just absolutely love receiving cards and I think it was Amanda, is it Amanda Fowler that calls them a, a hug with a fold, I think is the phrase. So you can see where I'm, potentially I can use those, not that one because I cut that one short, but these bits could be used in the centre there as well. Because I've used glue, I can just push that one out slightly. Then the sentiment I'm going to actually probably make more sense to have that flower coming off of that side. Methinks, right, a bit of glue on this. Let's say, let's have the wriggle room. have it just there I think and then I might just add a little uh, dimensional under here oh just got mini ones to hand so let's put three little mini ones on there then I will create the other cards later and share them on my page. So I'm thinking that's rather a nice position for it. 
and then we have our lovely bit of bling so should we add a bit of in soft sea foam or we could do should we go evergreen because we've got the evergreen in the ink just gonna put one there yeah these are so lovely and sparkly yeah I think just the one so there we go sort of panned out as I intended so that really showcases the new colours fantastically so I'm going to leave these other bits to play but you can see that's going to give me lots of opportunity but how different that one sheet wonder looks when it's been cut up and whilst I cut that out of three pieces I haven't laid them exactly um, so they don't kind of they aren't supposed to line up so hopefully you have enjoyed that. Thank you for joining me and I look forward to seeing you again soon. Thank you. Bye bye.